I don't know why I did that. Because, I, uh, like I mean, needed. that's something that you do. You that's just a do guitar. things. <laughs> it's the... Dring. Yeah, the, the strumming. Yeah, the beginning of the, uh, like, Spanish cowboy tale. Yeah, all right. The so tale down of now. Juan Quistador. Yeah. Oh, why? I'm just so goddamn tired, man. <laughs> But that's okay. This is a real podcast. Bullshitty podcast. Yeah, I mean, this whole week has just been like shit. Like, the highlight of the week was catching the Oxus. Yeah, going on that raid. Going on that raid, catching that Deoxys. That was like, that's the highlight of the week, really. (laughs) Like, and when the best thing that's happened to you in a week is is catching a rare Pokemon in a game like Pokemon Go, like, that means you had a shitty week. It's a pretty lame week. But that's okay. It's okay. Um, We're going to channel some of our inner happiness what little we have of that and i don't know we can uh, fake it we can fake it fake it till you make it right that's, that's, that's hey, what they say i just man that's like the story of like 90 percent of my life right yeah <laughs> fucking fake it till you make it i just look like you know what you're talking about yeah no as, long, the most as, important can, thing. as long as you can sit there and, and make it seem like you belong 90 mm-hmm. percent of the time you're fine I, that's you, uh in a campaign where we were playing like a modern. Yeah. And we had to sneak into a hospital. Um, Lots of bluff checks. Well, that's the thing. Neither me or the other party member had any any charisma or any bluffing ability whatsoever. So I was seriously making the argument so hard that I'm like, no, dude, we really just are looking like we should be here. <laughs> just so that we're rolling like garbage and still barely making these checks right at some point it was like a military hospital right yeah and we weren't meant to be evil but at some point somebody caught us and i guess i think i i aimed at the guy's arm or we or the other player decided to, we were gonna have to kill shoot this guy and right. we weren't gonna kill him so I think we were either aimed at his arm or his leg. Ended up with a three fifty seven, blew the fucking thing off. Oh, Rolled no. like max damage or crit or something. Right. Fucking blew the guy's arm or leg off. And we're like, oh, no. oh well, he's in the hospital. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. We ended up like blowing a hole in a wall because my character was a fucking demolitions expert. Right. I was basically playing Demo Man from Team Fortress 2. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I blew a hole in a wall. We shot that guy. I think we kicked some other orderly down like a 42 <laughs> flights of stairs. Like we did all this horrible shit. And then the guy we finally got to don't know at all what we were supposed to do anymore. Oh. But I think it was like, we should have brought him in alive and we couldn't get out. So we were like, uh, fuck it. Put a gun to his head and blew a hole in his forehead. Um, uh, okay. Uh, this is, unre- bad. this is somewhat related to, to that. Uh, yeah. So, we're eleventh level in yes. the campaign that Jake's running. I should actually be doing six d six of sneak attack damage. Oh, you forgot to add you. I think you did for a couple sessions. No, no, and no, then no. forgot about it. I was doing five d six the whole time. Really? Yeah, I've been okay. doing. Fi- I've been doing five d six the whole time, and then we we went up because since ninth I've been doing five. Yeah, no, I'm supposed to be doing six d six, and also when we finally level to level twelve, I get another ability score improvement. Yay. Nice. Good fucking use that. I don't know what I get it from Paladin. I know, I just, I make everybody make their checks. Yeah, you, you make checks easier for a lot mm-hmm. of peeps. Thanks to that aura of whatnot. Aura of fuck you, GM. Fuck you. Aura of fuck you, GM. Aura of fuck your traps and your wisdom saves and your, and your whatever. Yeah, all right. Everybody gets plus five because my charisma is awesome. That's what you need, though, right? I mean, yeah, at that point. Yeah. Especially because in 5th edition, saves, like, you just don't get anything to your saves. Right. You're pretty much screwed. Which is silly, but whatever, right? It's, it's. I guess they just, they're lower, but they just design them to be, I don't know, parter? I yeah, guess the I best guess way in to put a way, it. yeah. They yeah, wanted, no, I'm sitting here looking at this. I uh, think they wanted traps and things to matter again because yeah. there's so many with Pathfinder and 3.5. There were so many ways to cheese your skill, your saves and stuff and right. skills to beat those. I just level up all six Pokemon at once. Hey, all right. Should get an extra like. So, yeah, Luke's in here playing uh, Let's Go Eevee while yeah. we record. Like I said, this, like you said, this is going to be a bullshit cast. Like, I mean, you know, we're still 
recording. I'm literally just hoping a shiny Nidoran female shows right, up. Right, yeah. So that I can actually turn this game off because I've had it running for four days straight and have been doing <laughs> nothing but catching fucking Eevees. Yeah. It's... Or I mean not Eevees, um, Nidorans. Although Eevees would be nice too. Yeah, it would be cool, but yeah, they're harder to spawn in this game. So I just keep tra- sending them over from Pokemon Go. Right, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I've got a bunch of Meltan, like, running around my Go Park. There's, like, 37 Meltan just, you know, in there. And they're so tiny. It's amazing. Yeah. I didn't realize that the Go Park sort of thing, and just actually the Pokemon running around period in this game. Yeah. Not that we haven't talked about this game plenty of times. But it's seriously, it's it fits that joy of the way I wanted to see Pokemon when I was a kid. Um, because right. it's adorable. It is. Like the little Eevees run around chasing each other's yeah. tails and stuff. Yeah. They'll, you'll see like four Pokemon that like look like they're just getting in a group and chatting and just like, it's, it's, it's fucking awesome. Um, uh, actually Pokemon quest is actually fairly similar. Like as you sit there and you mm-hmm. catch more Pokemon, you add them to your little camp. Yeah. You'll see like Pokemon chasing each other around and see them playing like, yeah. Uh, last time I played it, which has been like a month or so, I, I don't care about it because I've compl- I've like mostly completed it. I've got all the Pokemon in the Pokedex except Mew. Yeah, because Mew is really hard to get. Um, it's like like I'll, I'll I logged on and Mewtwo was sitting on top of like my Rhydon or something like that, just mm-hmm. just goofing off, <laughs> just fucking camped on top of him. Yeah, no, just seriously, just sitting there like ah, whatever, man. I don't you know fuck it. And shit, you know, kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, the awesome series. Whatever, <laughs> man, just fuck. fuck whatever. Oh, I mean, Venusaur. Chimchar is the best. Po- best uh, Chimchar the best Pokemon for my money. Chimchar, <laughs> Chimchar, Chimchar. What the fuck is wrong with you? I Stop. loved. Did we talk about Donkey's video for? Uh, uh, Pokemon Let's Go. You know, I I didn't even see. I didn't even know he did a video on it. He did. He did one for Let's Go Eevee and one for Let's Go Pikachu. Oh nice! And bo- like they each were just his normal satirical. Like half the facts are fucking wrong, oh, and okay. it's super opinionated. Right. But he flipped the opinions on them. So Eevee, I think, was the one where he was like super positive. Like this is a fucking best Pokemon game. Anybody who takes change about this game, and then fucking Pikachu, he's like, this is the fucking worst bullshit. You don't even fight the fucking Pokemon anymore. And is it was fucking great watching those videos back to back. I had a fucking good laugh. I mean, Donkey is really good for that kind of thing, man. Donkey's Donkey's like, funny as hell. When he can sit down and he can like play a game and get into it and then write mm. out his his thoughts on it or whatever, write out his jokes, he is amazing. He's a funny dude. I mean, I found out that he's not great on the cuff, off the cuff type stuff. But he's that's okay. on a podcast. He's he's a little Super awkward. Super awkward. Yeah, it takes him a minute to get into it. But like, yeah. But I mean, I, uh, I don't know which one. You've seen it, which podcast you've watched them on? It was on H three. H three, yeah. H three's H three. Ethan is awkward as fuck too. So, yeah. I mean, he he totally is. Yeah, but that's okay. We're awkward as fuck too. Oh so yeah, I, mean, I can't imagine how we would be if we had like, uh, fucking like Ryan Styles or like, even a minor celebrity like that. We'd be, uh, dude, so did like a, you, dude? Are you kidding me? We'd be that way with a YouTube celebrity. We'd be that way with fucking anybody. Like, <laughs> like we get our, if we get our friends in here, like, uh, dad, the beard, the fucking dude, the purple. Fucking so, did you like jack it off? Did you jack it? <laughs> All that you apparently ever jacked works. off in a weird place. That works for the official podcast. Every every guest they have, they ask them the jack the uh, masturbation question. Do you have you ever do you have any weird masturbation stories? <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's good. Know, it's it's a good question. Guest. No, that's. I mean, it's a perfectly good question for half their guests. Yeah. You fucking because they're you, you know like YouTubers similar to themselves. Yeah. Just a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> Maybe we should start having guests on more often. I think we you know, should. we've had Matt. Matt's cool. Um, we've Matt had Jake. Was funny. Jake is. Loud. We gotta bring Jake. We gotta bring. Actually, we need to get our friend. Um, we need to get Johnny. In Johnny here. in here. We need Johnny's to get. A I need to set up a, a third microphone here, mm-hmm. and we need to get Johnny in here, and we just need to let Johnny be Johnny. Johnny's the kind of guy, and I've had friends like Johnny in the past. Yeah. Um. He's one of those guys that likes touchy, being touchy feely. Yeah. Just to get a rise out of you. Yeah. And he just the fucking stupid shit he says sometimes, like fucking drives it's just it's 
Yeah, see, he's going to listen to this later. He's going to know now to focus on you and fuck with you. No, the funny thing is it doesn't bother me, like, like legitimately or any – it doesn't bother me at all. I find it hilarious. Right. That's why I want him on here. Like, when we're playing our uh, D&D game. Yeah. And we're playing with a person from Danny, who you all heard in one call. Yeah, from podcast. He just popped in while we were recording. It was amazing. Play with Danny and another person from Germany. So Danny's from Canada. Yeah, and you guys all know Cody. Yeah, Cody. Cody. Cody's on our credits. Yeah, one of our guys. He's helped us out with stuff. He uh, he's from Germany. So randomly, we'll be talking about you know one of us will mention having gone fucking out to eat to McDonald's or some shit and had a shitty time. Whatever it is, and then he'll fucking Johnny be like, hey, hey. Hey, Danny, McDonald's is a restaurant we have in the United States that has cheese. <laughs> and, uh, we, we have McDonald's in Canada, too. Yeah, it's like McDonald's <laughs> is worldwide. They have it everywhere, Johnny. Cheeseburgers are the meat in between bread with <laughs> cheese. Sometimes it's pickles. Maybe they'll add onions. Lettuce. <laughs> mayonnaise. Do you have mayonnaise in Canada? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he he goes hard on on that was kind of, real. and you know he is doing it just to fuck. With oh, people. he totally. Johnny's yeah. that kind of guy. He just fucks with people, and that that's it's all well and good. What's why we all get along? Because we all do that to each other. Yeah, until we're trying to focus on fucking game, and we have to tell Johnny shut the fuck up. Yeah, which does happen a lot. Or if he's Johnny, not, if you're listening, whatever you're doing, shut, shut the fuck, fuck up. <laughs> Stop running around. Yeah, leave Jake's shit alone. Or fuck Jake shit up even more. Yeah, Either yeah. one. We're okay with that either way. Yeah, yeah. So. I, You know, one of the things when I ran the claims this morning, because uh, Jake is our dairy manager now at, at our work, and that's like, congratulations, good job, Jake, you're doing yeah. a thing with your life. Um, I was at, because you, you told me before I ran off, oh, you know, you put the frozen here. And, and yeah. like I said, there's a sign. There's Did been a mention? sign up, at least as far as I'm aware, for a while. Um, Fucking, I've ignored that sign for so goddamn long if it what has I was, been there. Well, <laughs> it's not. I'd say maybe since Jake came on. Okay. That's basically what I'm saying. Uh, mm-hmm. One of the things I was tempted to do is had a bag of meatballs. Mm-hmm. I was tempted to put them on the top shelf, take a picture of it, and say, with my fin- middle finger flicking the meatballs. <laughs> yes. I was like, fuck you, Jake. I just didn't have the energy at the time. Yeah. You know. I keep, I, Maybe uh, next time, Jake, I will do that to you. I've said a couple of times, like if I see him in the morning as I'm heading back there. Yeah. Or if we're like I'm sending messages or whatever, and if I have to do the claims, I've I've like threatened him to leave the entire car just back in his area. He said, "Go for it." Uh, yeah, he'll do just the dairy and frozen claims, and leave the rest. Yeah, push the others in the hallway, which would be funny. I mean, that would be amazing. You know, people would complain about that. I actually oh, I no, know. they probably wouldn't, um, because I've seen like entire carts of claims just sit in the hallway for like literally a week, fucking weeks. Yeah, so it's like, eh, whatever, no. Probably no one would notice. People will throw more shit on top. Oh, Whatever. yeah. You know, that's just Some, that's they'll the nature com- What they'll do is they'll walk past it and complain about it. Yeah. Over and over and over again. Yeah. And never do anything. Yeah, even about though they're it. heading into the cooler where the clams go or, yeah. you know, to the trash compactor. But, hey, that's just, you know, any business. That's, that's too happens. much work. But, they, you know, like yeah. I said, that's just retail. That's how it, that's how it rolls, like. You know, I, I admit that from time to time I suffer from a lot of that's not my fucking job itis. So, you know, oh, yeah, you know, whatever. It's funny. And I don't know how this is for every place. It Every business I've ever worked at, this is the case where management, when they speak to the employees, the way they treat them and the way they try and push employees is they always want them to have a like super be invested in the company. Right. Which to an extent I understand. Yeah, no, I'm but totally like, on board with that. They want them invest they want everybody invested to like this crazy degree. Yeah. That like the store managers are for ninety percent of the people there, they're just there for a job. They're there for a paycheck. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people who do hard work and will work hard. Oh yeah, for sure. But even me, I don't really I'm not I'm not invested. I'm not like super pumped no, when no, Walmart no. makes a huge amount of money unless I'm getting a kickback. Yeah, no, if we get a cut of it, like, oh, yeah, yeah then, right. yeah, my store does well and we get a good bonus. I'm happy. My store does well and then they shit, us, they, they shit us out of a bonus because of one excuse or another. I'm not fucking happy. Yeah. Or somebody slips and falls on day shift. I can't control that. Yeah. I can make sure as far as I everything I do is great. Right, of course. That, that little thing happens, and no, that doesn't make me happy. No. That's not going to endear no. me to the company. No. 
you know, it, it's like that. It's like that that uh, the, the surprise Pikachu thing, the one that I shared a few weeks yeah. back, where it's like you, employer pays minimum wage, employee gives minimum <laughs> effort, and then it's it's yeah, the, and it's the, the shocked Pikachu. Shocked Pikachu is like it's like oh my god, I can't believe you. Why would you want? Why, why wouldn't you go above and beyond? Yeah, you're, you're paying me minimum wage. You know what minimum wage says? If we could pay you less, we would. Yeah, that's exactly what minimum wage is. Minimum wage is like it's not, it's not enough to live on for most people unless you're a single per, single dude that eats like a cup of ramen a day. Yeah. You're not making it. Lives in just a terrible fucking shit heap of an apartment. Like this apartment's nice. You've, yeah. You know we've been here you know multiple times. We do all sorts of shit here. Mm-hmm. It, it's well maintained for the most part. And uh, I couldn't afford to live here if I made minimum wage. No. Are you fucking kidding me? I could barely afford to live at my last apartment making twelve dollars an hour. So it's like mm-hmm. what the fuck, dude? No. And uh, rent rates in in Ohio are like the nation's lowest. Yeah, like living, this is one of the absolute are, cheapest places to live. Yeah. Like, I get a gallon of milk for a dollar. Mm-hmm. Where the fuck else can you get a gallon of milk for a dollar? You yeah. know, right in the middle of the bread basket. Right. So it's like it's it's amazing. I think the only place that compares like like some random. Small state like Vermont or some shit like yeah, that. like so I'm sure like uh, certain most parts, certain parts of Indiana and Iowa. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Like, and these any part places. of the Midwest is going to be cheap to live. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I mean, we've got we're like we're like right, we're almost like dead center. There's all sorts of lines. There's of lots trade. of space. To, yeah, there's tons of space. Yeah, you know, and it's easy to when get you're not in the middle of the city and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cost living costs are not as expensive. Unless, yeah, like you said, unless you live down in the city, like, like, mm-hmm. like one little place is, is downtown Cincinnati, right? Daps, right, right smack dab in the middle. In fact, we passed it on our, when we were down there mm-hmm. doing the, uh, the raid, um, last week or week or whenever, whenever the fuck we did it, it was, um, it was, it's like $1,700 for a, a fucking studio loft with them. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Wow, mm-hmm. and and the only reason why it is because yeah, it's a little bit fancier than say this place is, mm-hmm. but it's because of location because it's mm-hmm. right smack dab in the middle of downtown Cincinnati, right on the riverfront. So you got the view, you got all the convenience. There's tons of nice shit down there. So yeah, it's like you're right next to the ballpark, so you can yeah. walk over, catch ball game, go catch. You know, you're right. What two blocks from Paul Brown Stadium? You're so, pretty much walking distance of any job if you have in stadium. Oh yeah, yeah. So like you don't even need a car. Mm-hmm. And I gotta be honest with you, if I could live at one Lytle, I, I would totally live at Lytle Place. Mm-hmm. I totally fucking would. It'd be a nice. It's a place. nice place. It's a really nice place. Yeah. I was talking with somebody. Speaking of where I'd choose to live, I was talking with a coworker last night about if I could, I would love love to move back up. Well, not back, but move to uh, like northern Michigan, secluded, yeah, right? Just to get fucking away from everything. As long as you had fiber internet. Like See, I that was the thing. I, I talking about it, it was like, wait a minute, internet's gonna fucking suck. Yeah, never yeah. mind. <laughs> Although, yeah. I mean, if they've laid lines, I don't know. But up there, uh, it was like satellite, and there was no, there was like yeah. no internet. Oh, so cell phone coverage is almost non-existent. Right. Yeah, that's you, also somewhat important. We had a uh, like a trailer that kind of got converted into a little cabin house thing. Yeah, um, mobile home, right? And uh, with an addition built on it and stuff. And for uh, like to use the cell phone, I would generally have to go. Sometimes you get a signal in one room, the back room of the house, <laughs> right? Or you'd have to go outside to the middle of the lawn oh, no. to get a signal. And in the middle of winter, uh, fuck that. Yeah, you're traipsing I mean, through a f- two and two feet of snow. Yeah, you're or talking more. like Michigan winters. Mm-hmm. You're basically right there next to Canada so. in the northern Michigan winters. Yeah. yeah, you're not. And this wasn't even. Well, this isn't UP Upper Peninsula. Yeah, this is up by Lake Huron. Right. Uh, which is part of the reason it's so awful because you've got yeah, like the like lake is weather. right there. Yeah. yeah. Which is always makes things a million times worse. Yeah. Like that's part of the reason why here in our particular branch of the Ohio Valley and most of the Ohio Valley. <laughs> It's so fucked up because of the Ohio River. Like, it yeah. brings all sorts of weird shit in. One day, it can literally be 80 degrees, and the next day, it can be 22. It just depends on how the river's feeling that day. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, it brings all sorts of weird shit. Plus, we got the hills and the mountains because we're right on the tip of the Appalachians. It's like... The okay. hills around Ohio, around Cincinnati and this part of Ohio are insane. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Like, there are some that are, like, literal... What? It's fucking hilly state? Isn't that what they call it or some shit? I don't know. 
I don't fucking know. I didn't eat. I didn't know that was a thing until I went to like a Nutcracker play when I was uh, ten years old or something like that with yeah. my grandparents. Right. And I just remember them having a puppet that fucking was <laughs> dressed up as like a a runner, so it had like a windbreaker on, and right. it was just exhausted from running up hills. Yeah. <laughs> and no, I don't remember I mean, anything else about the play I other mean, than that. Cincinnati has the Seven Hills of Cincinnati. Yeah, maybe that's are, what like, it was. Like Mount Airy, Mount Auburn, Mount and what the fuck ever or something. Uh, mm-hmm. Saint Bernard, shit like that. Mount like, Healthy. Where there's like yeah, Mount Healthy, where there are literally like actual. Um, not mountains, but you might as well. It's, it's an yeah. upper, it's a yeah, way yeah. above sea level compared to the rest of the it, yeah. state. Yeah, and so they're just kind of like, yeah, they're because like I said, we're right on the tip of the Appalachian Mountains, mm-hmm. and yeah. so we're, we're like a few miles off, but still, like, so yeah, we get all sorts of, uh, we, ha- we have tons of hills, mm-hmm. tons of fucking hills. Like, there's a Devil's Backbone, which I'm sure you heard of, mm-hmm. which is out in like Price Hill or somewhere, where it's literal, it's down a hill, and it's like, yeah, snakes the down snake, the Yeah, it's like a Lombardi Street in San Francisco. It's mm-hmm. like as crazy as that, except there's no guardrails and there's a forest. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of areas in Ohio and Michigan's a much more flat state, right? But uh, like I've said before, a lot of Michigan you have more um, sidewalks and things like that. Yeah, on the roads, especially in towns like where we're at in Cincinnati, right here, is suburban. But there's almost no sidewalks. Yeah, no. Um, this particular area, you know, this this, this partic- White Oak area, mm-hmm. um, sp- specifically the Corrine Township side, it's Corrine Township who just doesn't want to yeah. build sidewalks. Um, so yeah, some of the side streets here, like like on the street that I live on, there's one sidewalk and it's on the opposite side of where I live. Yeah. So, um, but if you're in the if you're further down, you're in the city. There's there's such shitloads of sidewalks, there. like literally just like. Like a mile down the road from here, mm-hmm. it's all sidewalks. There's not a street a mile down from here that you can't walk easily. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, they have to down there. Yeah, but out here, yeah, um, on the street that I live on, there's one sidewalk, mm-hmm. and it's on this like like it's on the side that I live on, but it's across the street from me. Mm-hmm. And then you go on the other side of the street that I live on, the side the other side of our main road here, there are no sidewalks until you get like quarter half a mile down and then hey now there's sidewalks but it doesn't fucking matter because i just walked whatever yeah back roads yeah four miles to get there yeah so it doesn't fucking matter because it's useless although marcus pizza is over there so that's a that's a good reason to walk because fucking pizza yeah and marcos marcos is amazing didn't they have some fucking serious snow in like south carolina last week Dude, I have no idea. I remember idea. hearing that. I know it was some some news where they were talking about fucking one of the southern states or maybe a few of the southern states had a – Texas or somebody had a massive fucking snowstorm. I was listening to that like looking outside like, hey, we got a little bit of fucking rain. What kind of crazy fucking uh, – like and, – and nobody's like, eh, that's not weird. No, yeah, that's pretty fucking weird, that man. That is totally weird. That's a that's kind of a weird uh, weather effect, don't you think? That's not something that that's not normal in the least, like at all. <laughs> but no, it's fine. Could you imagine something like Louisiana? We just got to rake. We got to rake the uh, rake the snow. forests. Rake the forests, yeah. Rake the forests. We'll stop the forest fires. No, no, Save we got to stop mismanaging the forest fires. Yeah, because that's apparently what it is. It's not the fact that you know. Yeah. Temperatures are higher than they've ever been, and the season's drier than it's ever been. No, no, it's because because we're not raking and we're not managing things. Yeah. We're not telling those trees, "Hey, don't stop burning, fire. don't catch on fire." How dare you? Did you hear Smokey? Smokey said only you can prevent forest fires. You need to prevent forest fires. You need to prevent these forest fires. <laughs> not that we're being political or anything. Uh, we sometimes do. It's awful. <laughs> oh yeah, man. But yeah, I just I don't uh, I don't know, man. Snow like like writing. It's out there. You look out the fucking window. You can see that something is very obviously wrong. It's 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 Things December. Are definitely different. It's the middle of December, mm-hmm. and instead of there being snow in the ground and it's snowing and it being cold, it's fifty something degrees and it's, it's raining. raining. Hello, yeah. there, there's something wrong there. Something very very wrong there. How do we not? How can we? How can you truly refute that? Oh, because it was cold two weeks ago. That's why. I think anybody who says the fact that temperatures have been warmer every year um, since we started recording temperatures, and especially since the Industrial Revolution, yeah, anybody that ignores that data is just, well, that's just normal. Uh, they can ignore absolutely anything. Yeah. The fact that we forced a planet out of 
what it should have still been the tail end of an ice age. Yeah. Should be a big fucking Within indicator. What, 50 or 60 years? Within a not fucking possible amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. That should be a big fucking indicator. But, you know, whatever. We got to have our cows. And we got to have our fucking clean coal. Yeah, no, we definitely got to have our cows. Yeah. Dude, no. I I, I love steak and beef. I do too. Yeah. I can't, I can't hate mm. on that. I mean, I think... But yes, clean coal. The massive... <laughs> the meat industry causes like so much fucking horrible uh, Avenal and stuff. Dude, I don't care because of cow farts. <laughs> I don't fucking care. <laughs> give me, give me steak. Yeah, and I'm happy. Give me some ribeye. Give me some T-bone. Give me some strip steak. You know, give me like a million different cuts. That's the American dream. Give me beef. I love beef. I can't. I can't. Sorry, vegans and vegetarians. Dim Dale, Dimmy Dome. <laughs> I'm Dimmy Dale, Dome. I'm gonna keep eating animals because they're tasty. Yeah, I mean straight up. It was, I'm, I'm sorry, your soybean curd is not as good to me as a, as a good burger. Your impossible sliders, they're awful. That was pretty awful. Yeah. yeah. See, I think I like some vegetarian things. Yeah. Um, when it's just like, I mean, like vegetarian pizza. It's just pizza without meat. That's fine. It's got other ingredients. I mean, yeah, it's, got, it. it's, it's got some other things like like. But it's not trying to fake it. Yeah. That's my thing. It's not yeah. trying to fake it. Stop trying you're to not, fake meat. You're not fake. You're not good. Stop making fake chicken nuggets. Yeah. Stop trying to just be what you are. You know, it's, it's, it's like. chicken flavored to, or tofu or something like that. Fine. You know, that reminds but me of the. Stop uh, calling it chicken nuggets. Of the joke that Mitch Hedberg told about turkey bacon. Because mm-hmm. it's like. It's, it's not to, fucking bacon. <laughs> but no, turkey, man. We like you just the way you are. Stop, just be yourself, man. Exactly. I'm trying to be everything else because you got like turkey bacon and turkey meatball, turkey this, that. Yeah. Just, just be turkey, man. Although turkey bacon is, is, is okay. I don't consider it bacon. No, it's, it's just, not. It's just turkey cut to be bacon. You can see that's the one I have. Turkey meatballs, turkey patties, turkey. That's all fine because fine, that, is, that is a thing. But bacon means pig. Yes. This is, this is synonymous. This is a thing. That is like calling it a turkey hamburger. No, it's a turkey burger. Yes. Because... It's a burger made of turkey. Yes. But bacon is not something that can be made from something else. Yeah, no. It no. is only ca- only pig. It is only a pig. It can only be that soft, what, underbelly of the pig. That's yeah, what it's, it is. it's basically <sighs> the belly. There's, there. I fucking love cooking shows on YouTube. Yeah. And through this fucking try- Pokemon challenge of trying to catch this goddamn shiny, one of the things I was doing is I'd be sitting there playing it and just have like 30, 40 YouTube videos auto-playing on a playlist. Right. And one of the things I keep going to is, um, I don't think it's tasty. I can't remember what the channel is that he does videos for all the time. Right. But the guy's name is Maddie Matheson. Okay. He's a like personality chef on YouTube. All right. Right. Um, and I like I like Babish too, but Maddie Matheson is fucking awesome. And he did this thing <laughs> with like a a pork loaf thing. Yeah. That he shows the cut of meat. And it's like, you see this right here? He's And he's like, this is all these, like, these are your pork chops. This here is your um, uh, your pork belly. And he's like, all this, this is bacon. You cut this off, this is bacon. You have all these different meats right here. We're not going to do any of that. We're going to make one fucking thing with it. And rolls it up into this, like, pork loin loaf thing. Ties it. Uh, oh, looked amazing. <laughs> and when he, after he baked it. Fucking, we're a cooking show now. Um, after I mean, he why bake not? it, we can do anything. Yeah, after he bakes it, he heats up oil. Tell us how it worked, man. <laughs> yeah, he heats up oil and then he takes seventy five, right? I don't fucking know. It was fucking hot. He's like, he's like, whoa, this. Be careful with this now. He's like, you don't fuck with this. But I'm gonna show you how to do it right. Basically, like you're taking the oil and standing far enough back that you don't fucking burn your face off. You start pouring it over the pork loin. And what it does is basically makes pork cracklins by cooking the skin on the outside yes, into yes. pork cracklins or whatever it's called. Pork uh... cracklins. Yeah. yeah. Uh, chicharrones. And I, yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I'm the probably skin, butchering that the, completely. The fat melts. AKA pork rinds. The fat melts under it. The skin kind of comes off. So you cut it and it cuts like like you're sawing through wood at first. Yeah. You can hear that sh- 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 and it crunches, comes off, and it's ugh, it looked amazing. I was like, I want, I wish I could cook something like this. Yeah. Take the time to do that. I was like, that's just, that's fucking, that's just great. Yes. Yeah. No, for sure, man. Oh. I well, love now watching I'm, cooking stuff. 
I was only moderately hungry before. Now you're now really I'm fucking much hungry. hungry. Yeah, now I'm that's what like... I was doing to myself when uh, before we went to the raid. Yeah, uh, when I knew we were gonna go out and get some fucking bomb ass uh, ribs at Montgomery Inn Barbecue. Montgomery Inn Boathouse. Yeah, yep. um, that's what I was doing was watching fucking like food videos and stuff. see like see that that that's just fucking like... just torture. I uh I sat there and I've been playing through Breath. I was playing through Breath of the Wild for a while and just mm-hmm. getting shrines and Korok seeds and shit. While I was doing that, I was watching again Grumps videos. Game Grump. <laughs> um, and watching them play through various Zelda games, and I've kind of put a yeah. pause on that because I've started playing Smash and and other games. Mm-hmm. Um. But for a while there, when I was playing Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go or Let's Go Eevee, I don't have Pikachu. Yeah. Um, I was watching a guy named Doug DeMuro, who reviews like cars. That's okay. all he does. Reviews cars. Yeah. And uh, he reviews like exotics, like the McLaren, you know, or nice. uh, weird cars like a Jaguar made like a sedan, a family sedan type <laughs> shit. Because um, I want this sedan to have 950 horsepower. Rolls Royce did some weird shit with some cars and a, f- like a fucking Lamborghini made, yeah. a, made like a, 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 a like a really weird looking like four door sedan that was like the length of a goddamn like like just stupid long like, like 12 giant... feet long. It was like Jesus. why? And it's like so yeah he, he, he does that kind of thing and yeah. uh, he's got like I don't know, 400 videos of him just doing different car reviews, like exotics and weirds yeah. and practical stuff. Uh, one of the first things he ever did was reviewed his, uh, his Range Rover. He's, and it's like, it, it, it's really cool. And it's, it's so, it's one of those things where he, he looks at things like, this is so interesting. And it's, it's actually a really mundane thing. Yeah. But yeah. the way he's explaining is like, I am really interested in the fact that, the button there is shaped like a dildo. I don't know why that's interesting to me. <laughs> why would this button be shaped like a dildo? I don't, I don't know. Let's go find out. Yeah. I, I'm and then, uh, the two fucking What does this button guys. do? Oh, and this is how <laughs> you switch this. And there's a hidden compartment here mm-hmm. that you can hide your weed in. It's like, this is all interesting to me. I will I never own that. any of these vehicles because they are way yeah. out of my price range. But these are interesting things to me. I like that. It's, it's almost – it's similar to – like I think why people like some of the um, vloggers, yeah. Like yeah. Like I'll watch every once in a while, uh, Casey Neistat. Yeah, when he gonna, does. I, when you said vloggers, he was the first one that came mm-hmm. to mind in his uh, review of the uh, UAE's uh, business class. Yes, which is exceedingly fancy. It's just it, it's insane. It's it's the sort of thing where it's like, well, just one time I want to do that. Yeah. But it's awesome that that guy gets to go and review yeah, these yeah, people. Like, like one of the, probably like, he has no chance of ever owning either. No, like the he, like I just watched his uh his video on one of the Koenig Sigs. I don't mm-hmm. know the exact model. It's like a ten million dollar car. Yeah, most expensive car he's ever driven. Jesus Christ! And it's also stupidly powerful. Yeah. Uh, he, he did one where the Lamb- Lamborghini, I believe, I believe it was Lamborghini, um, actually made like a like a SUV with 950 horsepower. Like, like why? Because you fucking can, right? I was just gonna say yeah. because fucking why not? Because it's Stop Lamborghini us. and they can do whatever the hell they exactly. want. Exactly. Um, there was another one where Mercedes, uh, their higher end uh, performance models. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't remember the actual designation, like uh, SGK or some shit like that. Yeah. Um, they also did a, uh, they did a minivan that has mm-hmm. like 650 horsepower. <laughs> so not only do you have like an actual legitimate practical minivan, yeah. but then you can like sit there and race some rice burner idiot punk out there on the road with his 350 horsepower Honda and smoke him because you've got the power to do so in your minivan. Nice. Because you've got an, a 650 horsepower V12 under the fucking engine, under I the can't. hood. Like, why not? What is it called? Trojan, were they Trojan horses? There's a term for... That sort of thing with cars where somebody takes and puts a massive fucking banger engine in like a fucking shitty sedan. Completely unassuming vehicle. Yeah, yeah. I can't I cannot remember what the term oh, is, but I've watched yeah. I used to watch videos of that every once in a while. Yeah. Where you just see this dude's fucking starts racing like a brand new um Mustang GT. Right, right. And he just fucking drops the clutch and blasts off. Yeah. And blows the Mustang out just fucking blows him or or destroys them, or like um, the like you just said, like a rice burner, like somebody in a a fucking CRX or something like that. Yeah, who's put lots of work into. Their oh thing. yeah, put a new engine and everything in there. Yeah. Which is, I mean, fuck, more power to you. You're in that. Uh, 
a buddy of mine in Michigan who was, he builds cars and races them all the time. And his I main thing is a CRX. And his the name of his racing, which I, him and a friend did their own racing group or whatever, yeah. uh, is a fucking 4chan meme from their <laughs> automotive board. That's Watt Racing. <laughs> Of course it is. They've got the car. His car has, like, anime girl eyes on <laughs> headlights. It's funny as hell, man. I love He's I doing just, that ironically, love see, right? Yes. Okay, yes. I love seeing the images he, from he, his, he, he's one, I from think his races and that, stuff. I, yeah. yeah, that sounds familiar. And I just said something like, you have to be doing that ironically because if you're doing that seriously, I could, yeah, never, no, no. I could never have he's, respect for you. He's not like that picture of the car with a fucking scantily clad anime girl bent over where right in the middle of her ass is the gas tank yeah or like right in the middle <laughs> of her ass it's like that's the like the the like the door key or something like yeah that. exactly yeah. yeah no it's nothing like that it's tasteful i guess is the best way to put it but it's funny i mean it's degenerate degenerate no matter how you look <laughs> i don't think it's degenerate Yo, he's you're... not he's not got like random sexy anime girls all over his car God. no it's, it's funny it, 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 yeah when you're doing it ironically, you're doing it solely just to, to make fun of the idea. I'm totally down with whatever <laughs> stupid shit you might do. Yeah, no, like I, I've I've learned a lot about a lot of different cars though with, mm-hmm. with this Dougie Miro series. And I, I I first watched the weird cars, which is where I saw like the Range Rover or like the uh, Lamborghini SUV yeah. and stuff like that. Um, and in fact, if I recall correctly, it's shaped like a almost like a big Hummer. But better because it's a Lamborghini and not a Hummer. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, right now I'm going through the exotics. And he just uh, he just, I just got through uh, the part of the playlist where he drives a 2005 Ford GT mm-hmm. and compares it against a 2017 Ford GT. So there was I I can't remember, and I'm pretty sure it was something like Future Weapons or something where they did an episode where they talked about somebody like Lamborghini or some big. Uh, car company yeah. took in and they made these SUVs or something fucking super powerful souped up engines and um, very wealthy people were buying them and sending them to this other company that was the focus of the episode where they would armor plate the shit mm. and like one of them would add fucking uh, turrets that came out of this, the roof of, like, of the SUV like some Call of Duty bullshit um, but they seriously, that's what the company did. They would make these for dignitaries. They'd make them for like super, super, we're talking uh, ungodly wealthy people. And one of the things they were talking about is you've got an extra like, I, you know, thousand pounds or more of weight because of all the armor plating and stuff. Yeah. And you have to have one of those beastly engines yeah. just to get those things moving. And they can fucking truck. Like zero to sixty and fucking I don't know what's fast for a car, but they could fucking move. I mean, they something were like badass. that. Something like that. I couldn't see unless you really went to the extreme. And, and there's going to be a point where it doesn't matter how much horsepower you throw into it. There's going to be a weight, and, and yeah, there, there does come a time. There does come a point where like those kind of stop each other. Mm-hmm. So five six seconds for something like that would be insanely quick. Yeah, I mean, I mean, considering was, like, they were like, cool, like. Top supercars, two mm-hmm. two seconds, zero to sixty, something like that. Five six mm-hmm. seconds. You said a thousand, like a thousand pounds for armor plating. Yeah, I don't uh, know. A thousand pounds. Let's say another five hundred pounds for your turrets and ammunition. You know, something like that, and the mechanism to rise. You know, push them up and open oh, the yeah. door. So yeah, I, I mean, you're looking at an extra two three thousand pounds of weight, whereas some of the top supercars. They might weigh three thousand pounds, <laughs> exactly. and most of that would be the engine because the rest of the body is made of carbon fiber and aluminum. Wherever the fuck they can do it, yeah, you know, because carbon fiber is extremely tough. It's extremely cheap. It's extremely light, and it looks nice. It looks fucking amazing to me if it's done right. The uh, did you see that video? And I think it's been out for a while. Yeah. Um, where they have like one of those super race trucks. Um. Mm-hmm. I, I can't. I I think it looked like a truck to me, but it was like a NASCAR vehicle or something. Right. It was. It was <laughs> built. It was built for fucking two hundred, three hundred miles an hour, whatever right. they go at. Um, and they had it racing a um drag racing vehicle. Yeah. And or or Formula One. I'm not sure which. I think it was a drag car. Yeah. Because it was on a straightaway, and Formula One tends to 
They go all over I mean, the place. I mean, Formula Ones are very small, yeah. very low to the ground cars because they need. It was one of the small, thin, you know, one of those fucking fast ass cars. I don't know what. Yeah. But it was like the truck or the the other vehicle got like a six second head start. Was like halfway down the track before the uh, the Formula One or the uh, drag race car it took off yeah. and fucking just smoked shit out of it it's hilarious those things are insane okay so we just got a message from jake regarding the uh the the whether or not kelsey will be playing she says he doesn't want to risk hurting her foot more she has to sit there (laughs) we hey you know what sometimes you get very animated playing dungeons and dragons you never know what could happen i mean if she just wants to to lie in her bed is very dangerous if she just wants to lie in her bed fine i don't blame her I mean, yeah, but I mean, you're in the game now. You're involved, Kelsey. You need to play. be involved, have fun, interact with other people. Yeah, yeah, right. Like it you got to do that you. at some point. You got to do that shit at work. Mm-hmm. Like you might as well have practice with people that are cool. Because we're not gonna yell at you if you can't find us like cheese sauce or something. <laughs> Where's my cheese sauce? Where the fuck's the mac and cheese? I need some mac and cheese. Oh fuck. I almost lost my goddamn job today when this asshole called to complain about our door, the person who was on the door asking for his receipt. And he's just fucking going off about having to show his receipt for like a $2 can of paint. I spend money at Walmart. I, I don't fucking care. Yeah, right. Like- it's fucking four o'clock in the morning. People fucking steal. We're going to ask you for your receipt. I had a similar incident uh, last week. This old lady wanted to complain to me that she had to show her receipt. And like, yeah. Okay. What do you, what do you like? And she was going off about how I, I just don't get how I'll, like I, all my stuff's in a bag. I don't get yeah. how people can like, like, ma'am, your stuff being in a bag doesn't mean a damn thing. Yeah. Like seriously, people, people get, seriously go over, grab a bag, fill it up and try and walk out all the time. Yeah. And she was like, well, they should have them. And like every, every one of her arguments, and I no longer remember any of them because all of them were stupid and horrible. Yeah. But, um, every one of her arguments like completely fell flat. And you could tell that she was getting more desperate trying to argue against me. I'm like, ma'am, I understand. Yeah. That's your prerogative. Don't show your receipt. Walk out. Be a cunt. Whatever. That's your. That's that's you, yeah. man. That's that's on you. Uh, but it's like, she was like, well, they should have a monitor and be able to see. It's like that doesn't fucking mean anything either. And uh, there's like there's like 25 fucking registers on the front end. Yeah. No one person could reasonably monitor 25 registers like that. On top of thinking we're going to monitor the entire store like that. No. Get, get, what is wrong with you? It's 4 o'clock in the fucking morning. Well, it was like, oh. at this time, it was like 11, 11.30 at night. All right, well, still, it's after normal business hours. Yeah, well, for sure. Um, and we're busy. Yeah. So, I mean, we're protecting ourselves. We have that right. I told somebody straight up, I was like... Because the argument you always hear is, you're accusing me of stealing. No, we're not. No. We're not treating you like a crook. We're just just asking you to show your receipt as you walk out the door. Yeah. That's it. You don't have it. Most of the time they go, uh, you don't have it. They just fucking look down to the cashiers and we just wave them on. If we saw you check out. It's, it's not it's, a big fucking deal. It's a, it is to some people, though. Like, yeah. That was one of the things that, that you reminded me of. She was like, it violates my rights. No, what one, fucking no, rights is, What fucking rights is this violating? You're on private property. Yeah. So, uh, as long as we're not physically harming you, we do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. Like, we're not seriously. detaining you. We're not, yeah, we're just, can you see a receipt? Yeah. No? Okay. Well, we need proof. Well, we, we will detain your, the, the shit. We'll detain yeah. the merchandise if you can't prove you fucking bought it. Exactly. But we're not going to detain you. Did you, you buy it? Yeah. Go. You have a receipt? Yeah. Then just fucking show it. Right. It's, it's really not that fucking it's simple. hard. The bitch, she decided to be purposely obtuse. Put a, oh, I'm not going to show him. Well, that's your prerogative. Yeah. And as she was walking off, I was like, I hope the rest of your day is as pleasant as you are. Yeah. Like, because she was just being a total bitch. Like, dude, what is wrong with you? Just show your receipt. That's all you got to do. It's not that hard. We're not accusing you of anything. We do it to literally everyone. doesn't matter whether you're black, white, green, blue, or orange. We're going to ask for your receipt. If you're orange, we're going to ask for two. <laughs> oh, but are, we, are we racist against orange people? I, yeah. Okay. I don't know who. Only, only you know, one orange. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to ask him for his receipt. I don't know. If we're somebody comes in there that's orange, tax returns. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be uh, questioning some other things. I'm be like that episode of Scrubs where they have the dude who's green or or, or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Be like trying to figure that shit out. Like, what did you do? 
Like, did you just stay in a tanning booth for too long? Yeah. I mean, yeah. like that's you know, I want to I want to talk about that for a minute. Put in? What what makes women like what makes these women think that being like that dark and orange is attractive? Yeah. Like, what makes you think that? Because I'm gonna tell you right now. No one wants to fuck the leather couch. That like, uh, yeah, I was just gonna say that leathery. Yeah, that, ugh, that like, like that orange is brown shade that they go to. It's like, what is wrong with you? Why is, do you think that's sexy? Because it's not. No, it's really, really not. Like, I, I seriously just stop. I don't like. I said, if I wanted to fuck a leather couch, <laughs> I just go over dry like, it out. And yeah, start chipping off. Yeah, no, I'm good. I, I, I would go to rent the center. Like, I, hey, you got leather couches? Let me rent that couch. Because you know what? Ultimately, it ended up being cheaper, and there's less chance that I'd get, like, fucking syphilis or something, right? I wish I could remember the guy's name. He's probably dead by now, I'd assume, or he's really, really old. He used to be in those old celebrity, like, shows, like uh, uh, Hollywood Squares or things like that. Yeah. And he was a minor celebrity that was, like, I think he was super Italian, but he had the mustache and... And he had super fucking tan, like like that, like that leather, wrinkly, just yeah. awful orange skin all the time. Yeah, I wish I could remember that guy's name. Dude was funny though. Eh, I don't, I, <laughs> honestly, unfortunately, you don't ring a bell. I never watched the leopard. What is that? Uh, Hollywood Squares. Hollywood or Square, I used yeah. to love Hollywood Squares when yeah. it was on. When I was, I just remember watching it when I was younger. Yeah, and I don't know if it was syndicated or if it was new episodes. Uh, no, I know it was syndicated because most of those people weren't thing like don't I mean, do anything anymore i I think they still do new episodes of, they might they yeah, might maybe, on the uh, the game show network yeah maybe uh but i would be watching it and they, they like whoopi goldberg was on there all the time yeah yeah they I had do remember that she was i mean i i, I it's one of those things harry that I no not harry parts harry. of they I, I don't i i i can't remember most of those people but god that show was legitimately funny yeah no, that was it, one of those shows that's kind of like Okay, the no, British they are television not doing it anymore. No, uh, probably the last what the late two thousands. Uh, the original last time. network was uh, NBC. Uh, Eighty four mm. um, was the last time it wasn't in syndication. Then it was syndicated from seventy two to eighty one, eighty six to eighty nine, and ninety eight to two thousand four. So yeah, yeah. no, uh, nope, <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're not doing it anymore. Looks like the last episode aired uh, June fourth, two thousand four. It was season four, episode one ten. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Two thousand four. Yeah. Uh, actor Martin Mull, Vicky Lawrence, Carrot Top, French Stewart. Carrot. I forgot Carrot Top would be on it. I forgot Carrot Top was a thing. I think. Is he still a thing? Did Kevin Smith talked about being on it one time. I don't know. Dude. I want to say he was. Kevin Smith has done fucking everything. Uh, yeah, he, he's done a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, I, I kind of want to cut it off there. I think we could. We've gone it's for a 47 while. 47 minutes. We've that's talked fine. about fuck all. But yeah, no, I mean, that's how we do. Fun. That's how we roll. <laughs> um, you know, have a good time. I mean, lately, it's there's not really much new I've done other than uh, played played some Smash. I played Diablo and 3. Let's go. I've yeah. gotten real into Diablo 3. So, I, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm liking that because I bought it on Switch. Um, Need to play that. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and sign off there. So you know, yep. if you if you like us as background noise, which we make excellent background noise, uh, you know, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, know. check us, uh, check out the Patreon if you feel like you got a buck to drop. Support um, us. You know, go follow us on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I, I tweet. I do things. I post stupid images. Oh, I actually reminds me. I, I did a poll. Yeah. Um, two and a half days ago, roughly. Maybe a little longer. I don't remember the exact time frame now. Mm. Um, it was a stupid question that I had to ask. I don't remember what inspired it now. Um, <laughs> it was kind of a conversation about masturbation that I was having somewhere yeah. on some random chat room. Um, if you had sex with a perfect clone of yourself, would it be considered masturbation? And it was yes, no, and maybe. Yeah. And we got an overwhelming no. So no, it's not every, masturbation. Okay. Everybody thinks that it's not masturbation. There's a lot of people. There's some people who thought yes. But. Granted, I mean, I would go. You, I go with no because I like that old meme of, wait, you're me. That needs neither of us will be virgins or however that went. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. neither of us will be virgins. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, it, it, 
it, the verdict is in, as far as our as far as our followers are concerned, that having sex with a perfect clone of yourself is not considered masturbation. Yeah. All right. So there you go. If you were ever wondering that, that's what our did, listeners say. Did we ever answer the uh, duck size? Horse, horse-sized ducks questions. No, we didn't because we <laughs> rambled about an hour and a half over nothing. So, yeah, no, I don't think we answered that question. So, uh, but right. anyway, you know, like I said, uh, check us out on Twitter, uh, Patreon. We'll be starting mm-hmm. a Twitch channel soon, so, you know, maybe we'll be streaming some dumb shit there. Yep. Um, uh, check out the YouTube channel. I'm going to – I think I've got – clips on my xbox three or xbox one i'm going to start putting on there yeah just for the hell of it you should totally do that yeah just so we have something on there um yeah other than the podcast basically yeah yeah um we might look into starting a vlog series soon so you can see some of the dumb shit we do from week to week yeah maybe we'll see That'd what happens funny. like i'm pretty lazy but i've got some new video editing software i like to mess with so okay. all right guys for the ungodly geeks i was joe i was luke you guys have a good day see you later fuck yeah Fuck Nazis.